The Very Last Leaf, written by Steph Wade and illustrated by Jennifer Davison. From his first day of school in the spring, Lance Cottonwood was the best and brightest student. He blossomed in budding. Look at me, I'm a leaf. He breathes through what wind resistance some others were not so lucky. Better luck next time. He was a breath of fresh air in Photosynthesis 101. Don't you just love the taste of sunlight in the morning? He passed pigment changing with flying colors. Yellow, everybody. How do you do? During his last class of the autumn semester, Lance began to worry about his final exam. The test would take him from the top of his sturdy tree to the grass down below. The other leaves couldn't wait to take the leap, but Lance Cottonwood didn't feel that way because Lance Cottonwood was afraid to fall. It's just so high. Lance was jealous of his neighbor, Doug Fur. Doug was an evergreen and evergreens didn't have to fall. Doug got to sit on his branch and feel the cold, wet snow on his face all winter long. But Lance was a cottonwood and cottonwood trees are deciduous. They lose their leaves in autumn. So Lance was expected to fall like all the Lance leaf cottonwood ancestors who came before him. When autumn arrived, one by one, other students let go and floated to the ground below. But Lance was comfortable at the top and that was where he would stay. No one expected him to be scared, so Lance made up excuse after excuse. Saving the best for last. Ladies first. I have a bit of a cough today. But Lance couldn't trick them for long. As leaf after leaf passed the final test, they started to talk. He's a scaredy leaf. I guess he's not good at everything. He's too yellow to be an evergreen. The days turned into colder nights, and Lance decided he was going to beat the odds. He would stay in his tree all winter, well, just like Doug. Looks like we're going to be best friends. By the end of the week, Lance was the only one left on the tree. Lance's teacher knew he was worried, but he also knew he would be okay. It's okay to be scared, Lance. I'm here to help you through this. He was terrified of landing in a gutter or getting stuck on a windshield. Or worst of all, falling where a dog did his business. After talking about his worries with his teacher, Lance felt a little better. And when he looked down again, things didn't look so bad. Some kids had made a leaf pile to jump into. Other kids were collecting leaves for crafts. Lance's friends were happy. They were safe. And they looked like they were having fun. Lance knew it was time to take the leap. Lance's teacher assured him he could do it. Lance! You are one of the hardest working students in my class. You can do it, Lance. We believe in you. Just let go and float, said the other students. And they were right. He could do it. He worked hard and he knew his stuff. Lance loved Doug, but Lance wasn't an evergreen and never would be. Lance looked below. He took a deep breath, silently telling himself, I can do this. I know I can. Then, with his stem quivering, he let go. Practicing what he studied, Lance focused and floated gently to the pile below. Lance Cottonwood may have been the last one to finish his test, but he did not fail. He was once again on top. You did it, Lance! Great job! The gang is all here! I'm proud of you, Lance. I knew you could do it.